Sondele mene. Menja zuze varadika so paradi andalamana. Ronde vizo varadike so paradi andalamana. Lo vandike se paradi andelele mene. Lo shendele vezuze varadi lebeke so rabadalamana. Just bless God. Lo shendele vezuze varadi le mene. Mandele vezuze varadi beke so paradi andele mene. Remando vore videle me so paradi andalamana. Lo shendele vezuze varadi andele mene. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, we bless you. Mendo fazu ze varadi le beke so rabadalama. Mende ze vadi le so paradi le mere menene. Lo shendele vezuze varadi le bere menene. Palo ne vezuze varadi le bere de beke so lama. Palo mayande le vezuze varadi le menene. Lo shendele vezuze varadi le beke so paradi andalamana. Oh, blessed be your holy name. We give you thanks. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 and verse number 16. Come and hear all ye that fear God. Amen. Come and hear all ye that fear God. And I will declare what he has done for my soul. 17. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he extorted with my and he was extorted with my tongue. 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Amen. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Now, the reason why we are here is because we want the Lord to hear us. So Jesus said, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. He started by saying, your father, that is the Lord. And um, one of the ways that God will not hear us today is when we accommodate iniquity in our hearts. So David said, if I regard iniquity, or if I respect iniquity, if I accommodate iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. But I believe that as we are praying today, we all desire that God will hear our prayers. Verse 19 says, But verily God hath heard me. May that be your story in Jesus' name. May God hear our prayers today. But verily God hath heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. So we want God to attend to the voice of our, of our prayer today. And he can only do that when we confess our sins. But verily God has heard me and he has attended to the voice of my prayer. God has paid attention to your prayer. And it is so because you did not regard iniquity in your heart. I want us to take time this morning and um, confess our sins so that God will forgive us. And the scripture says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins with our mouths, he will forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. So let's take time and Ask God for cleansing, for washing, for forgiveness of sins. And I believe that God will hear our prayers and our voices today. Lift your voice right now and um, pray to God and ask him to forgive you of any sin. Confess your sins of pride. Confess your sins of lust. Confess the sins of your heart. Oh yes, that is why we came, oh God. From Monday till now, Father, we may have committed one or two sins that we are not even aware of. And we are asking you for your forgiveness. We are asking you for your cleansing. We are asking you for your washing. Wash us thoroughly with your blood. Oh, just lift your hands to God. Lift your hands to him right now and pray. And say, Father, show me mercy. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For if I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened to my prayer. New International Version. If I had cherished iniquity, if I cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not listen to my prayer. Oh, lift your voice right now and pray. Father, 
forgive me forgive me cleanse me and forgive me there is nothing you cannot do Lord you can forgive me you can wash me you can cleanse me in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus oh pray to him right now Lord at home wherever you are on your way to church wherever you find yourself pray oh god i do not want to regard iniquity in my heart forgive me cleanse me wash me wash me thoroughly lord wash me thoroughly especially of the sins i do not even know in the name of the Lord Jesus. Sore mende leve zuze vara di andama. Para do balaba sandola mana. Remba sonde leve zuze vara di le mere mene. Lo shande leve zuze vara di le. Palo rende zuze vara di le beke sora mana. Eya raba ya dolo bo shande le mene. Mande kobo sande le mere bede le mene. Maya dolo bo shanda la mana. Rete viso vara di lebe ke shora madalama. Ah, my eyes are on you, O oh God. We magnify you, Lord. We praise you, O oh God. Sore me yende le vesu se vara di le mene. Sore ma yando lobo sore me de le mene. Re ma yando sando lava mana. Ha yando lobo sore me de le mene zola mana. Ma de le vesu se vara di le mene. Confess your sins. Mention them to the Lord. List them. Mention them to the Lord. Father, forgive me. Oh God, forgive me. Sore men de leve zuse vara di le mene. Sore men de leve zuse vara di le be kosai andala mana. Mando sande vaso vara di le keso para di le mene. Lo je vere di le keso ramai andele. Men de zuse vara di le be keso para di andele mene. Lord, I do not want to regard iniquity in my heart. I do not want to regard iniquity in my heart. Jesus, sore me yendele vesu se fara di le mene. Lo jenda la vesu se fara di le mere bede le mene. Pala ma yando lobo sore mene. Le so fara di le beke sora mana. Mando lobo shende le vere mene. Ayo re bede le vesu se fara di le mere mene. Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Lord, forgive me for the sins of my mouth, the words I have spoken, the negative things I have said. Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Hallo lende le vesu se mara le mene. Oh la masando la ma vesu fara di le mene. Rende su se fara di le beke shora madalama. Hala ma yando lo bo sore bede le mene. Monde siye de le vesu se fara di le mere bede le mene. Oh yes, blessed be God. Blessed be God who has not turned away from our prayers. He has not turned his face away from your cry. Because you have not regarded iniquity in your heart. The Lord is hearing you today. Pray, Father forgive me. Cleanse me, wash me, wash me with your blood, wash me with your blood, wash me with your blood. I believe that if I confess my sins, you will forgive me. I trust in your way. I trust in your way. Paradobo koshere bedelemene, lamandola basambre dive sora madalama, jore bedeleme zuze valadi endele, mando sandele me rebedeleme. Oh, call on God. Call on God. Call on God. Sore me de le vesu se fara di le mene. Men de vesu fara di le mere bedele. Perhaps you said something yesterday. You did something yesterday. And you are regarding the iniquity in your heart. Pray right now. Father, forgive me. Have mercy upon me. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Attend unto my prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus. So bere de ke so vara di le mendele. Mende zuze vara di le bere de be ke so ramana. Hando sende vezo vara di le be ke so lama. So re mendele vezuze vara di le mene. 
Mande sando vada live rebe dele mene. Oh, just pray to God. Palama yande le vezo merene mene. Shore me dele me vere dele mene. Ayanda la vazu ze vara dile mene. Parama yando lo bo ze vere dele mene. Shore be dele mene. It is a new day. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let's kneel before our Savior. Pray to Him. Lord, show me mercy. 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 Mandele vezo rebe dele mene. Lo shandele vezu ze faradi lebe rebe dele. Maya rama yandele be re mene. Aya wapada ve lebe le mene. So rama yandele vezu ze faradi mene. So rebe dele mene. Aya anto farada lama da. O yendele vezu ze faradi lebe ke so rabada lama. So rebe dele vezu ze mana. Palo dele vezo vadi le ke so. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. Lord, today I want you to listen to my prayer. Listen to my prayer. Though we may be many watching floor prayer meeting, Lord, I ask you that you may listen to my prayer. Listen to my prayer. Listen to my prayer. Attend unto the voice of my prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Shore be de le vezu ze vara li mene Mande son de vazo vara di le keso para di le mene Lo ze vere de le beda lama Razo vere de le mene Pray that today whatever request you come before the Lord with He will hear you He will hear you He will hear you Shore men de le vezu ze mada lama Lo ve du ze vara di le be kosayan de le mene Mando sande valo veni kezo vara di le mene Lo ze vere de le me ramana Shore me yen de le vera Palo de le zu ze vara di le ke so rabada la mana O zu ze vara di le mene Shore be de le ve la ma Ask God to cleanse you Ask him to cleanse you Ask him to cleanse you Lord cleanse me by your blood Forgive me Lo sende vezo vara di le mene Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Monde suse paradile mene. Lojen de le vezu ze vara di mene. Palon de le vezu vara di le beke sora badala. Oh yes. Shoren de le vezu ze vara di mene. Oh, blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Palon mendo le vezu ramadala. Ranto kogo shandele mene. Father, thank you for the great blessing yes. that we have in you yes. today. In yes. Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, you are welcome to the Flow Church service. And... Um, we are so excited to be here this morning, and we want to, you to subscribe. I want you to telephone somebody. Telephone. I heard that a long time I heard that word. <laughs> Call somebody. Telephone somebody. Send a message. I can see. Eli. Oh, Paul Marie. From where? Where where are you from? Yeah, we need to see where you're from. I see all these people. God bless you for joining us. And uh, it's exciting to see you on Flow Church. Amen. Church, Flow Church has three services every week. Monday, uh, Sunday, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Sometimes we have less, sometimes we have more. But it's a great blessing. Amen. Amen. I want us to speak in tongues, everybody, on Sunday morning. Um, I believe that in the realm of the Spirit, there are always things to pray about. And God is going to bless us as we pray in the realm of the Spirit. So just let's all pray for what we don't know we should be praying about. God knows. Sometimes, you know, what, what it is is that sometimes what weighs most on your heart is what you pray about. But so that that's what weighs on your heart is what, not what is most important. 
but some other thing is important. And so that's what tongues comes in to do. And that God leads you to pray about other things. Amen. So I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. Uh, maybe you are a pastor getting ready to go to church. Maybe you are a Christian getting ready to go to church somewhere. Maybe it's, it's daytime, it's afternoon. I don't know what time you are watching, but it's a time just praying in the spirit, praying in the spirit, praying in the spirit. Let's all just pray in the spirit of the Lord. Kambara manda bara mandala. Pala bara shonda le ma bara dala bare daba daba dale bare. Kambara mano shonda le ba kabar. Kala raba shonda la raba dala bara. Reme ye veli bosa. Lo shem bare ni ne kosanda la bara lama. Rabba fara di bele le bele, so manja kaba da bele mora bala bala mana, aya waba da bele bele bela bala bala mana, aya waba da bala 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 mana bele bele bele. Lord, you have found the level so far di bele mene, share me the love so far bala bala mana, aya mara bala 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 fere bele bele mene, on the kobo shanda la bala bala mama, speaking tongues. Pray in an unknown times. Oh, lama vene vezo varadile ke shorama da lama. Raman zolo bo vene vizo varadile mene. Rote ke zo varadile ke sho paradi andama. Oh, oh, toma na vize. Oh, randa balaba vere bedele vezuze varada balala mana. Mayando lo bo shandele me vere di ke soko parada bala. Oh, yes, mama nata labo mene ne ke sola man. On bere de vezuze para di le mene, lo shemba de giso para di adolama, raba bere bere le le mene. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto me. Oh yes, man de libo sandalama na, rama ya dola ba shada la ba vizo bere mene. Oh de bere vizo para di le mene ke so para da la mana, rando kobo shanda le mene. Arada vizo para di le ke so para dia. Raman Fido Lava Zore Medele, Lesho Ramayanda Labada, Oyan Devene Kizo Varadi Lebeke So Paradia, Rapa Zosa Varadie, Oshanda Labade, Raman Delovazi de Meneke So, Parada Labada, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, Palandi Leke Zolama, Rade Vezo Vales, Jore Bedeleke So Labada, pray, pray, pray at home, pray at home. Put on your Bluetooth speaker and pray in the realm of the Spirit. Parama Jaman Dolem Bakaba Haraba 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 Parama Dalamo Dilema Meketa Baba Shondola Mori Dalaba Baba Oh yes Paradi Dilema Ronda Laba Shondola Ma and Dalaba Shondola Mama Ayara Dazuza Ba. Let's <laughs> Shere <laughs> <laughs> 
Leje Baradiko Sandola Mana, Renge Vereminesto, Rapa Kotos Yese Rizoba, Lesho Rama Yande Lebere, Rapa Kosa Yanda Lamana, Oh God, Mombere Digesto, Serama Yanda Lava, Rapa Badula Babarama Dile Mareme Benele, Onde Blesu Bane Mekosa, Lo Shampa Katari Zomene, Erede Vezu Zena, Erede Vezu Vali Dele, Enche Paradi Nomo Kose Dele Vezu Zemara Lamone, Onde Le Vezu Zemara Lobo Kose Tele Lemena, Lo De Vezu Vara Di Le Keso, Mambara Di Keso, Mbere Di Gele Dele, just pray, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Ambarama male de berene de berene. Handarama zandolo moshine berem. Anwani zokembo de berene de berene. Ambarama male de berene. Ha adala ma kabara no bali bali she de berene. Ma rama adala ma de berene. Thank you, thank you.
seated for a moment. I want to welcome all of you to the Flow Church Sunday morning service. What a blessing. And uh, today, I want you to text your friend, call your neighbor. It, it actually works when you call your neighbor. And also react on your phone comment, send a comment. Um, oh yes, I see the people on Facebook are commenting. Tell us where you are watching from so that we'll also be encouraged to carry on. When we hear the testimonies, we are encouraged to carry on having flow church service. Because you know, it's not that easy to have the flow church service. <laughs> Some people are laughing here because they are very tired as they've come here early this morning. It's not a small thing. So encourage us by saying um, good morning. Uh, we are watching. We are there and where you are from. Don't just sit and do that. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Flow Church. And also go to Flow Church and watch this from the Flow Church. So most of us are watching from Dark Hill Mills and so on, but we need to also know our Flow Church members so that we know that we are a community. Amen. Amen. That is a blessing. Now, today um, is Healing Sunday. Amen. And I believe that God is healing us. Amen. So, last week, I was sharing about wound healing. And this week, I'm going to share about wound healing part two. Wow. Yes, wound healing part two. So, I want us to pray everything. You know, this is a flow service. So, we don't have like uh, announcement, then after that, a choir, then after that, announcer. And, you know, we just flow. So, I want to go straight ahead into Jeremiah 17 and verse 14. And it says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Amen. You know, if God heals you, you'll be healed. Save me, and then I shall be saved. For thou art my praise, O God. I want you to know that if God heals you, you'll be healed. You'll really be healed. Healed of what? Healed of all the many possible things. At first, you know, I... Um, thought of healing mostly as healing of the body. But just as they are finding that mental health is a big issue now. You know, Jesus said he heals your broken hearted. Your broken heart. Amen. Alright, he heals your broken heart. So, 
There are many parts of us that have to be healed. Now, why does healing have to happen? Healing has to happen because you can't stay for long in the world without getting hurt, damaged, or injured, or affected by the things that are here. Do you see? Yes. So, if you are part of humanity, and I know all of us who are part of this service praying, you will be hurt at a point in this world by something. Even by the disappointment that is in this world. You know, when Solomon said, vanity of vanity, all is vanity, he was disappointed by what, ha- what he saw. And most people are disappointed. You get it? And it breaks you. It changes you. And you wonder whether you'll recover. So I believe that God has the power to heal. And that's why he said, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. So I believe that whatever has broken you, whatever has affected you, whatever you've seen in the world, which is disappointing, you see, God can heal you. And God can save you. And so, we want God to heal us because sometimes we are not healed and we'll be walking around with our wounded lives. And people turn into monsters because they are offended or they are hurt. This is one of the things that I have seen uh, is the ability for a hurt that a person has to turn him or her into a monster. When I say a monster, I mean a, a real... What's a monster? Please check the di- dictionary meaning of monster. All right? You know, there are people that you... I don't know how old you are, but you remember they were not like that. They were sweet. They were nice. You get it? All right, let's see, monster. Something of unnatural size, shape, or quality. All right? Specifically, an animal or plant departing greatly from the usual type. Anything or person of unnatural or excessive ugliness deformity, wickedness, or cruelty. Yeah. And you see that you can be turned into a person with unnatural or excessive ugliness, wickedness, cruelty, by your experience or by an experience. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's how hurt can make you. If you take the woman who married uh, Herod's wife, I mean, she was so offended by the preaching of John the Baptist when he used her as an example one day. As you know, you are not supposed to marry somebody's wife. And uh, ah, she couldn't take it at all. So when the opportunity came for her daughter to ask for a gift up to half of the kingdom, eh, she said, I want head soup. Head soup. I want John the Baptist's head in soup. No, there are some soups. Uh, was it? Which animal? Goat. Goat, the whole head is part of the soup. And it's, it's boiled in the soup. And you eat the eyes and the, you cut the nose. And you eat it. And you pick the eye, the cheeks. 
and you'll be scraping the bone. Somebody here has eaten it before. I think Pastor Paul has eaten some before. So they wanted John the Baptist soup. So normally a lady, we think of girls as kind, dainty, soft, you know, lovely. But this woman had become a monster because excessive wickedness. Do you see? She, she didn't think of John the Baptist family or what does it mean, what you are doing. You know, the change is so much in a person. And so that is why he says in Jeremiah, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. So in this prayer time, I mean, the whole service, our service is everything. Please don't think there will be announcement followed by choir, followed by this. There's nothing like that. All right? Yes. I want us to pray, God, heal me. And I know God is healed. There's somebody in America, God is healing you. Of, I don't know what it is. But maybe you are hurt by a relationship. Maybe you are hurt by life. Life. I heard somebody complain. Say, why? 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 Why am I in this country? He was hurt. He, was, he saw somebody standing for elections and he said, why? Why does this man want to be our president? He cannot even move. He was so hurt. When, we, when you listen to the video, you feel sad. Yes. So Sometimes we are hurt by life. And wherever you are, what has hurt you? Maybe there's no road where you are. And you ask yourself, why? Why? What have I done? Have I done, is it that I've done something? Have I sinned that I should stay where there's no road, there's no water, there's no light? What is it? Huh? When we started the year, we used to buy electricity for 6,000 fuel. And now it's 18,000. That's the difference. At the beginning of the year now. Why? <laughs> Have I sinned? <laughs> if, your, if your pension was 6000 at the beginning of the year, it was $1,000. That was your pension, your SNIT pension in Ghana. And this is Ghana. But now... It's three hundred dollars. It's divided. Yes. Why? So I don't know what is pinching you. You love a girl and she doesn't seem to love you back. You've broken up your relationship. This is the fourth one. Every relationship doesn't travel far. It's like a car who is taking you a taxi and he says he will take you, but when you are on the way, it breaks down. Then you take another car and takes you, also breaks down. Then another car picks you and it also breaks down. You still haven't reached three relationships. You haven't reached even engagement. Huh? Why? Is it that I've done something? Ask your neighbor, is it that I've done something? Hmm. But today, there are people, you haven't done anything, but you experience difficulty. And that's what the Bible says, Jesus was hated without a cause. There was no reason for that. So whatever you are experiencing, whatever the cause you can be healed by Jesus. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. And I believe that if you are older than 10 years, by all means, you, you need healing of something in your life. 10 years in this world. Ah, there will be something. So I want us to, everyone rising, and I know you are, you are driving, but I want you to pray in the realm of the Spirit, 
Because maybe you are twisted. Do you see? But you don't even realize how twisted you are. But it's because of your head. Maybe you were raped or abused sexually. And it's, it has changed you so much. You know? Maybe you, were bro- you, you had a breakup of a relationship. But the person you are married to is a very good person. But you are not happy with the person because you see him as representing your past hurt. You know? Or maybe your mother was hurt. Your mother suffered. And you have taken your mother's sufferings to re- avenge on your, on your, for your mother on your husband. Why? <laughs> Lift your hands. Heal me, O oh Lord. Heal me, O oh Lord. Everyone praying right now. Mantes meke bola manda shamanda. Parama zamanda la ma shama bole da mene de 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 just like the woman with the issue of blood, someone said that you were a man. Mama, la 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 Oh Jesus. Jesus, we appeal to you as the blind man said, Lord, to be made whole. God, touch our eyes, touch our minds, touch our bodies. We need a touch from you today. You are the word. The word that comes to heal us. God, touch us, heal us. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. My friend, God is healing. Heal us, oh Lord. We pray for your healing. We pray for your healing. Heal our hearts, oh God. Lift your hands and glorify him. We praise you, Jesus. Let's show our madala mafizolo mane. Pray for healing. Lord, heal me. Jesus, heal me. Malada la basuna la mana. Oh, la raba da la la mazuze mene ne mene. Monda la basando la la ba fere me de le bele ke suse paradi anaba. Rama yando la basando le le mene. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, la raba da la la ba fidelo mo rebe de le 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 mene. Rama yandu la ba fazu la ma ra ba da la 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 mana la shadu la ba fara ba da la mana ma do ka ba shanda la ma vidu lo mane e la rama ya jele bele azalo ba da la ba ara ba ya da la ba fa la la ba la la mana heal me oh Lord heal me oh God I pray for your healing Lord I pray for your healing Lord complete healing Lord complete healing Lord. Oh, la Ramaya and Dola Baba Ramana. Loshen de la Vesuze Vara de la Caso Paradian. On de Veno Vara de la Caso Vara Bide Lemene. Paston Vendelige Zolemene. Ejeva la Vido Lobo Rebe de Lemene. Rose Vara de la Baca Soramana. Aya Wanda Lamana. Losen de la Vele. Loshe Mara da Caso Lebre de la Casalamana. Oh, yes. Heal me from within, O oh God. On the left is Oman and Asa Paradi and the Lemene. Long Jembele Kizo Paradi Eleke So Paradi and Aba. Mendele Vesuze Maradi Lebedeleme. Los and Alaba. O Rapaka Susepele. O Remeye de la Vesuze Mananamana. 
Pray for God's healing. Heal me for my head, so God. But heal me for my disappointments, oh God. Oh, la ramaya dola balamana. Ah, la bradia la bezola mana. Heal me for my offense, oh God. And by his Ah, la remen de la fiso paradia de la mene. Oh, men de la keso paradia de la mene. Lo jem barada bavara mene. Leso rabala. Ah, la do koso tele la mene. My God. Male do mene keso se madala la mana. Oh, rain upon us your healing, Lord. Oh, let me know Heal us again and again and again, again oh God. For we know that if you heal us, we shall be healed, oh God. Allah Ramaya Zoverebedeleka so paradia daba. Mandola Mazan de Gobelemenemene. E parada du verene so men in a class of Alamana. My God. Jesus, heal me. Heal me, I pray. Heal me, I pray. Oh, la Ramayan de la Vezole me veremene. Yes, I need your healing, Lord. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Mane no vene siya lo mo remene na mo dele. Lost the remedy of the Jesus the man and the Oh God, oh God, oh God. My God. Alle remedy of Jesus the father the le mo remedy le mo garamana. Remedy la machando lo mo veremene. Remedy adola masi de vrage sola maya dalama. Ayawa madala masu se vere bele le le mene. Heal our hearts, oh God. Heal our souls, oh God. Heal us from within, oh God. Man bele zore mene kosi andalama. Run the fellows in the merebele. Ah, la ma rama de la keso remedele mene. A remedele vezola ma bere remona. Ayawama yandololo mene. Lord, we bring ourselves to you for healing. We come before you for healing, my God. Your healing, oh God. You are our praise. You are our praise. You are our praise. You are our praise. You are our praise, oh God. We call on you, oh God, for your healing. Your healing, even now, Lord. My love and the Jesus is my only element, and the love of every man in him. Oh, la ramaya de la vezola ma vara mi no more de kento la ma vara mana na ma ya de le. Ala ma ya do la ma shanda la mana. Aya la ma do la ma bere de bola ma da la ma. E ramaya do le me vene ke sosa ma di le more mene. E la raba do lo bo she de le me raba da la mana na mono. E malada konte le mene. Aya wa mana na na ma vizo lo more bere le mene. Oh yes, yes. Heal us of our disappointments, oh God. Heal us of our mistakes, oh God. Oh, man, balada bala modolo mone. Oh, remedy like a suse mane. Oh, la maramada la mana suse para de la mene. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, la maramada la mo viso lo mo remene. Oh, Ramayan de la Beshen de la Meremene. Aparada la Bazoze Mereme de la Mene. Oh, oh, la Ramayan de la Beshen de la Mene. Oh, la Ramayan de la Beshen de la Mene. Oh, la Ramayan de la Beshen de la Mene. Oh, la Ramayan de la Beshen de la Mene. Oh, la Ramayan de la Beshen de la Mene. Oh, la Ramayan de la Beshen de la Mene. Yes, Lord. Oh, Che Bere de Kesundaba. The word of the Lord said, "Jedi evezo vara di leke so paradi andalama." Monde le krezu ze vara di leke so paradi. Tameno gozeve le jo vala di le mokosa yandele mene. Men bakosi andalava zore mene le mene. Oh yes. Yes 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 yes. From the crown of my head to the tip of my tongue. Yes 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 yes. Medical science said that there was no hope for me. Oh, God, somebody told me that you were a healer. Oh, God, somebody told me that you were a healer. Oh, God, somebody told me that you were a healer. Oh, God, somebody told me that you were a healer. Oh, God, somebody told me that you were a healer. Oh, God, somebody told me that you were a healer. Oh
Jesus. Just like the woman oh, yes. with the issue of blood. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, Lama Rabada Lama Shanda Lama Nana Mana. Om Bere Rebeke Zofara Di Elemena. Hey. Hey. Lama Rabada Lama Sando Lama Faramana Nama. Of our disappointments, Lord. Of our heads, oh God. Of our mistakes, oh God. Jesus, we appeal to you. We beseech you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. As the blind man said, Lord, I need to be made whole. We need a touch from Oh yes, today. we need a touch from you, you God. Are the word. The word that comes to heal us. God, God touch us, heal us. From from the 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 God is healing. My friend, God is healing. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, 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 Mary da basando lo movere mene E ramayando la basando la mavara mana na mana E casola mana casola mana casola mana Oh yes Heal us Lord Heal me Jesus Heal me Jesus Oh la rama marama da la masuse mere mere le me Oh Oh Romeno Sera Mayando Lobo Remene. Hey, Marabala. Marabala la Mashando la Lama Vido Lobo Remene. Oh, yes, you're healing. You're healing, Lord. You're healing, Lord. You're healing, Lord. You're healing, Lord. Oh, Ramayado Lobo Vido Lobo Remene. Aya Rabada la Mashando Lobo Remene. Hey, hey, hey. Save us, Lord. Save us, Lord. Pray for healing. Pray for healing. My God. Fix it, Lord. Fix it, Lord. Fix it, Lord. Oh, la rama son bere de keshenda lama. Tiene a vieso para di lebe kesora mayanda lama. On jem bere de vesule manana ma. A lo dre de kesira lo maya. A yahua mandalo mo sore bere de mene. And the so far I'm not casuate better than me. Hey, I'm about to lala my soul, I'm a young devil, let me. Let me choose the far end of the book, cause I'm not a lala man. I'm a rabbi, I'm not a very man. On the end, the far of bread, the case of far of middle of money. Let's show the lala so the middle of the case and the bar. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. Oh, Surely yes. he took up our infirmities. Yes. Malo ke sora mayanda labada. Yet we considered oh, him stricken by God. Oh, let me finish with the father de lebo koshone de me. My God, your he healing. Was pierced oh, for se our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us son de bene ke so para di le mene. And by his wounds, thank you for helping me, Lord, to recover, yes, Lord. heal thank you. completely. Completely. Put your hand on your heart. Jesus. My God. I don't know. Mm. Father, thank you for your blessing. Your blessing. Today in the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Lord. Pray, Lord. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want everybody to take a handkerchief mm. if you have one. Mm. Get a handkerchief. The Bible says that handkerchiefs were taken from Paul. So it's like a mantle. Mm. I just want to pray with you over a handkerchief. And I believe God for a miracle. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Bibles, the Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons were taken. Amen. Amen. 
handkerchiefs and aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Amen. Amen. Just take your handkerchief, if you have one, wherever you are watching from, just fold it in your hand. I'm seeing I, I also have one. Those of you who don't have handkerchief, please buy some this week. <laughs> Father, yes. thank you for the power of God. Yes, Lord. We pray over every... If you don't have a handkerchief, you have a towel, you have any... Mm. And... As you place this over your heart yes. or on any place of sickness, yes, Lord. any place where there's a curse, yes. power Jesus. from God yes. will move. Yes. Marama John de Mezembelema. Holding your handkerchiefs like this. Yes. Pagalama Shandola Momarine Mendele. Jesus. Barama Father, thank you for total healing. Yes. Total healing. Total healing, Lord. Impartation of your power. Tando Kamanda Lamanda Beda Paramana Mashombele Mare Mandele Bele Alaba Vazo Zavara Lakabara Malada Raba Oya de Kesura Mayando Lava Parabara Arama Shabla Shereme Yadela Vazo Zavara Lama Where there is pain Yes Where is pain in us Lord hey. Where is Kati Flor Come on Pakaba Sanda Hallelujah Where it seems we cannot recover Lord Come on Come on we pray for your power to be transmitted yes, 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 through yes, yes, every yes. handkerchief, Hallelujah. every apron, Hallelujah. into the bodies, yes, 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 into yes, the yes. lives, yes. into the hearts, oh, yes. into the emotions, and the souls of all your children, oh. Lord, as we look to you today. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whatever form of injustice, wickedness, yes. Oh yes. Heal, O Lord. Heal, O Lord. And I shall be healed. Save me, O Lord. And I shall be saved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Every crookedness and every strange behavior, strange and unusual life. That is as a result of my hex, my God, of pain, my God, of discouragement and disillusionment. Marama Shombale Makabaranda Limanda Limanda Malora Mandela Manda Malamora Manda Kemalada. Thank you. Stretch out your handkerchief this way. Oh, yes. Thank you. My God. We believe, Lord. We believe, Lord. And we stretch out our hands. Hey. And we believe. Thank you. Palosa. Taraba. Tamada. I pray for you. I pray for the master yes. to touch you. Yes. Amada Malala. Oh. Throw these aprons and handkerchiefs oh. all over. Now place it on your heart. Place yes. it on your heart. Yes. 
Place it on your heart. Father, thank you for heart healings, Lord. Soul healings, Lord. Alango tamanda bele manela leva de 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 de. Araba ba ba ba. Haromanda le ma shama manda. Abara manda la ma kabala. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amba kaba. Oh. Daloma reva sata la ba kaba la la. Nando sende re man le le le. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing. For somebody in Brazil, Lord, yeah. it's been healed right now. Atazuala. Thank you for someone in America has been healed. Thank you across the world, Lord. Hey. In Ghana. Amasomba le kadele le Kenya. It's been healed. Yes. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Thank you Thank for you healing God. in the hospital. Yes. Healing in the hospital. Yes. Healing from surgery. Yes. Healing from oh, the case. Thank you. Thank you. Lord. Your healing Lord. Oh, your Jesus. On their fellow oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My God. Thank you, Lord, for the end. Yes. Of the curse. Yes. And its after effects. Thank you for. The healing from after effects yes. and side effects so and continuing effects. More, 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 more. We receive your mercy, we receive your, mercy. your healing yes. in our lives. And as we place this handkerchief today and tomorrow and the day after, the power of God goes into our lives, into a life of a child or the life of someone in the hospital or the life of anyone. The curse shall depart. And the anointing shall yes. enter, and the curse shall be broken, Jesus. and the seed shall end, oh, yes. and the war shall be brought to an yes, end, yes, 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 yes. and great grace shall appear, great grace and shall help appear. from angels, my God, my and supernatural God. beings shall be involved, hey, 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 and shall hey. come to play a major part in the recovery, yes, 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 restoration, yes, yes. deliverance, yes. and assistance yes, yes. to whoever. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we pray yes. with thanksgiving. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. You may be yes. seated. Thank you. Take the handkerchief and um, put it in your pillow. Put it under your your and you put it in your pocket and I believe, God, that as we have prayed over this handkerchief, the particular one, there is power according to the scripture. Uh, that's why the woman with the issue of blood wanted to touch the hem of his garment. The Bible says, Paul, God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul, so that from his body were taken were both sick handkerchiefs and aprons and the diseases and evil spirits. Evil spirits responded to the handkerchief. Yeah, evil spirits. So what you believe is very important. It actually takes you even to heaven. As many as believe are saved. Yes. Father, thank you for this amazing blessing in Jesus' name. Now I see a couple of thousands of people on, but we want to hit 5,000. So share, like, and uh, subscribe and uh, react, comment, do it, and it's going to be a real blessing. This morning, I want us to take a special offering. Amen. And this offering is an offering for healing. And we are saying, Lord, let my prayers and my arms come to you. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for touching my life. And I pray as I sow this special seed, Lord Jesus, uh, that everything that is not working will be healed. 
Amen. Jesus is a healer. If you are part of humanity, there will always be a time when you need a miracle, you need healing, restoration, a return. All these English words, when will we use them? Do you get what I'm saying? Recover, restoration, redemption, restitution, healing, mercy, forgiveness. I mean, at what stage of your life are you going to use these? So, Father, thank you for your blessing as we receive in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to watch a quick testimony as you give your offering. Amen. Hello, Flow Church. Uh, this video is to thank God for you, Flow Church, and uh, to give God all the glory done in my life since I got in contact with uh, Bishop Doug Gilbert Mills, his teachings, the flow prayer uh, services. It's all been uplifting, powerful, transformative, and I am just so thankful I had to share this quick testimony. My name is Nans Boos. I'm from Madagascar and I currently live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota in the U.S. I came to know Bishop Heward Mills at a service at the Church of Evangelist Jonathan Charles Worth. Before I started preaching, they showed a video of uh, Bishop's Crusades all over the world and what really got my attention is the stadiums full of people getting saved and getting healed and I was just like wow I wish you would just go to Madagascar and sure enough shortly after I started preaching he had mentioned that he was actually going to Madagascar so there <laughs> I was just all in I'm like wow okay I need to know more about uh, this preacher so I looked him up on Facebook liked the page looked him up on YouTube and started listening to his teachings and I can say that it's all been really really beneficial uh, to me I uh, I recently uh, learned some devastating news of deception and uh, betrayal, really hurtful things from close family uh, members and uh, the fruitfulness series just came like fresh, fresh mana from heaven and uh, in my difficult times I got to learn to look at it from the perspective that if I uh, endure my trials and face them well that I will be more fruitful um, in the kingdom that my character will be built and it's just been really amazing to get that perspective from Bishop's teaching and I'm so thankful and I give God the glory for all that you do be encouraged that the work that you do is impacting people and I just want to encourage everyone that want to grow closer in their relationship with God, with the Holy Spirit, that the anointing is at Flow Church and you need to get plugged in and to be consistent and you will see the amazing things that God can do in your life. Wow, what a blessing. Now, he came through for me, and he's going to come through for you. Do you believe that? I believe it. Oh, yes. The reason why we share testimonies is because what God did for somebody, God is announcing that I, I did it for her, and I can do it for you. And I know God is changing your life. Father, thank you. You came through for me. You came through for her. You came through for him, you come through for me. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen.
It's an age of uncertainty happening now. It's coming through for you. It's coming through the clouds, through the curtains, through the windows, through the doors to bless you. He came through for me. I know it's coming through for you. There's a path he's prepared just for you. Yeah. He came through for me. He came through for me. I know I know he will come through for you. Yeah. Yeah, yes, he will. Oh, yes. He came through it's for happening. me. It's happening. Mata wada mashado mata. He'll come through for you. Yes, he will. I know he will. Shando mazama da mada mada. He'll come through for you. Mado Oh, I know. Oh, my. He'll come through for you. According to his word, oh, yes. yes, he will. It's coming his word through never for you. Fails. He'll come through for you. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a blessing. And now, you know, one of the things that brings wounds into our lives are our sins and our mistakes. And it's unfortunate that that one too is also something that looks like we cannot escape. But thank God for the blood. Oh yes, the blood. Those who don't know the use of the blood. It's like somebody who goes into a house, you don't know the use of a toilet paper. 
that you see there. You may ask, what is this role here? What is it for? If you are part of humanity, and if you are part of this world, one day you know the use of that toilet roll that is in the house. I think maybe I'm talking to myself. I don't know whether I'm speaking to some angels. Jesus has a sea of forgetfulness and is going to drop all your mistakes deep into that sea. Amen. Stand before you guilty and unworthy. How can I be forgiven and made holy? Though I know I break your heart, but you promised I could start all over and all the things I've done. Mercy. You placed them each and every one. Into the sea of forgetfulness, you place to love my sin. Thank you, Jesus. I'm the one who keeps reminding you over and over again. Into the sea of forgetfulness, as far as the east from the west, seventeen times seven, you. Forgiven me, and you keep cleansing, and you keep cleansing me, me, placing my sins into the sea of forgiveness. Oh, yes. You welcome me with open arms of mercy. You welcome me, and He's welcoming you. Open In spite up. of all I've done, you still keep loving me. Still. And I only need to ask. And you erase all of my past forever. My debts have all been paid. And they have all been washed away. Washed away today. Into the sea. Thank you. You place to love my sins. I'm the one who keeps reminding you over and over again into the sea of forgetfulness. As far as this from the west, 70 times seven, you've forgiven me. You've forgiven me. In my sin into the sea of forgiveness. It's your unfailing love that covers me and all my multitude of sin. It's your steadfast love that keeps reminding me I'm forgiven into that sea of forgetfulness. Thank you. You placed all my Lord, I'm the one I keep reminding you over and over again into the sea of forgetfulness as far as the east from the west and 70 times 7 you've forgiven me you've forgiven me you keep blessing me blessing my sin into the sea Place in my sin, oh, into the sea of forgetfulness. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. What a blessing. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the amazing sea of forgetfulness and the blood of Jesus and the great grace you give to us, healing us every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, today, I want us to share with you on wound healing part two. And um, the last time I was sharing with you about wound healing, it's about fruitfulness also. John 12, 24 says, Verily I say unto you, except a corn of wheat. And I want you to just call your neighbor that preaching has started. I mean, it started already one and a half hours ago, but it's still starting. So tell your neighbor, we are online. We want to hit 5,000 viewing, people viewing uh, on Sunday morning. Amen. Well, that is a basic church, New Testament church. It says, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bring forth much fruit. So if it die, it's not that it's bad, but if it die or if that bad thing happens, it can bear much fruit. That's what the Bible is saying. If it die, if that bad thing Dying is a bad thing. So if that bad thing happens, it can bear much fruit. Clap for Jesus. That's enough. We can go home. We can go home. How many realize we can go home? If it dies, all right, it brings forth much fruit. Which means, is death a good or bad thing? It's a bad thing, all right? It says, if it dies, or you can put into brackets, if that bad thing happens, if it dies, or if that bad thing happens, it brings forth much fruit. So look at verse 12. It says, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. You can also say, except a corn of wheat falls into the ground and that bad thing happens. Or except a bad thing happens to the corn of wheat. It abides alone. The bad thing is the corn of wheat falling into the ground. Because the corn of wheat was in the kitchen. It was upstairs. It was nicely arranged in a basket. Do you see? Now it's disappeared. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? So the Bible is saying, uh, Jesus is saying, Except a corn. I don't know whether I'm talking to myself. I don't know. I'll go to Japan and share these things in Japan. But the Japanese may understand it better. Because I feel as if I'm speaking Japanese to uh, people who speak English. Oh Lord, give me some Japanese. I don't know if there are any Japanese on the YouTube and Facebook. Hey. Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground or except that bad experience happens to the corn, it will abide alone. Amazing. And my scripture again. And then, but if it die, if that bad thing happens, do you see? It brings forth much fruit. I want to go home now. I feel I've said enough. I feel I've said this is, an, uh, this is a World Cup goal at the first first three minutes. So. <laughs> it's, a, it's a first three minutes goal. <laughs> All too soon. <laughs> Amazing. How many want to read this verse again and see what it is saying? It says, Verily I say unto you, except, except. A corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. If that bad thing happens. No, except that bad thing happens. Not if that. Except that bad thing happens. It abideth alone. Change it, change it, change it to accept. Accept. Yeah, accept. That's it. He's corrected it. So that's an amplified Bible right there. <laughs> All right. Except that bad thing happens. It abideth alone. But if it die, and that is to say, 
if that bad thing happens, it brings forth much fruit. <laughs> Clap for Jesus for an amazing, 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 amazing revelation right there in the first two minutes of the match. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I wish more people would share this on Facebook and more people would share this on YouTube. Amen. Amen. Because maybe the people on Facebook will celebrate this more than the people in the studio. Yes. Hey. Now, wound healing is very important because many of the bad things that happen require us to be healed of them so that we can bear the fruit that God wants us to bear. Sometimes the fruit is just humility and just becoming calm in God and you changing in your nature instead of being arrogant and very stuck up and aloof and superior. God wants to make you into something attractive, something that he can hold, something that is nice for him to hold, and something humble. And so, sometimes, unless that bad thing happens, you find that your superior attitude and your way of thinking has just not changed. And maybe that's all that God needs to change about you, to make you great. Because the greatest in the kingdom is humble. He says, if, except you be a humble like this child, you cannot be great in the kingdom. So the greatness is in the humility and not in the achievement. Yes. The greatness is in the humility and not in the achievement. Hmm? That's another goal. It's just, 15 minutes into the match, it's 2 nil. Amen. Amen. So, last week I was sharing with you about how the beast in the book of Revelations was his great wound was healed and the whole world wandered after him. You know, that is an amazing revelation because the Bible is telling us that and I saw one of his heads as it were, wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wandered after the beast. So I'm using this, not that we are not following the beast, but we are seeing an example that when you are wounded and you are able to recover from the wound, it's, it is an amazing thing. And it's a wonder. And it even causes you to have an increased following. Yeah. Yes. People more follow someone who has been wounded and has survived than someone who comes with a lot of theories. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. But what have you been through? And what have you survived? Because all the family you have is not as simple as that. Amen. Amen. Now today, I want us to see in just five, ten minutes how to actually be healed. I want to give you a few practical keys on how to bring about healing. Amen. Amen. From deadly wounds. Amen. Amen. So that you can bear fruit. Because as for the wounds, Jesus said, it is impossible that you cannot live in this world. You can live in this world without being having some kind of problem. Or in a church without being hurt one day. It's not possible. And you just have to be careful. So number one, Psalm 32 actually has a lot of keys for healing. All right? Verse one says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Amen. Blessed is the man whom the Lord 
imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. So, verse 1 gives us key number one to your wound healing is forgiveness from God. Forgiveness from God is a big step. Now, if God has forgiven you, you are well on your way to recovery. Amen. Amen. Now, that sounds very easy. So, ah, as, oh, as for God, you know, God has forgiven me. It's man who has not forgiven me. As for God, God has forgiven me. But I just want you to know that uh, God forgiving you is not as simple as it sounds. Because the Bible says that if we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. Now, there's a big word there, and that big word is if. If we confess. So, you need to confess your sin to God. You see, but the problem about that is that we often don't see our sin and don't know our sin. And even when you are praying to yourself and no one can hear you praying, you don't even speak openly. Because you've learned how to speak with innuendos and coded messages and so on for so long that you don't actually call a spade a spade. So you don't actually say what you have done to the Lord. So you need to confess uh, if it is this. Because you see, these big words... You know, the sins in the world. They are real sins. Who who is a slanderer? Who is a hater? Who is jealous? Who is an adulterer? Who is a fornicator? Who is a murderer? Who is a thief? Thieves rarely say, I'm a thief. I'm a liar. I'm a deceiver. We don't. We just say, Lord, forgive me for yesterday. For what happened? I've, I've heard a lot of people apologize, you know, if there's something that I've, I've done, you know, I, I know that maybe there may be one or two things. And so just forgive me. You know, I just want to uh, say sorry for anything that maybe all that happened and all that wasn't so good. And I may have offended you, you know. And, I mean... I, because we are all human beings. So forgive me. And uh, to err is human. <laughs> That's not confession. So when you do that to God. You can do that to man. But when you do that to God. You may not be forgiven. Yes. You may not be forgiven. Amen. So remember that you need to confess. Your sin to God. Amen. Number two. Wound healing comes from speaking, talking. In Psalm 32 and verse 3, it says, what does it say? When I kept silence, amen. Amen. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. Amen. Amen. My bones waxed old. Mercy. So silence, you know, there are people who have made themselves no comments. I don't want to talk about this. And verse 4 says, for day and night thy hand was heavy upon me and my moisture is turned into the drought of summer. So, silence. When I kept silence, all right, my bones waxed waxed old. One of the punishments of the enemy is 
to not be able to speak. You see, it's very difficult to be in solitary confinement. It's worse than death. That's why people kill themselves and want to die when they go to prison. No speak to anybody. Just sit there all day long from morning to evening every day for 40 years. Honestly, it's not a small thing. Yes. It's, it, it, they go crazy. Yeah. So keeping silence and not having anybody to speak to and not speaking and not talking keeps the wounds alive. And I've found that sometimes Satan will harm you and tell you no one will understand you. Don't speak. When you speak, it to be worse. So he says, when I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. If ever I've noticed a sign of a troubled person and a person who is going to be some way and have certain difficulty is people who have kept silence. Talking. Sometimes even you've even confessed something already, but talking about it. Because you know that everybody is thinking about it. <laughs> everybody is thinking about it, but no one is saying anything. And talking changes things. So sometimes you see people in relationships, people with mistakes, everybody is quiet. Marriage is one of the things that people are really embarrassed about. It's like, oh, Charlie, I know I can't even say that uh, in my marriage, this is what is happening. Do you see? Yeah. I can't even say that in my marriage, you know, can you believe that uh, my husband is like this? I can't even believe that my wife is like this. I said, they, they'll keep silent and rather iron a brown uh, political suit up and down and a brown blouse and whatever to wear together to church on Sunday to go and show the world that we are together. You see, we are wearing matching brown clothes. Do you see? But you are dying inside. And as you are moving with your spouse, can you believe this? But you see, if you are to speak, you see that your bones will not wax old. Amen. Amen. And healing will start to come. Then the person you go and speak to, first, ah, I have the same problem as you. Yes. Amen. So speaking generally, one of the works of the devil is to put you in a trap and tell you, don't speak. Don't ever talk. Be quiet. Keep it to yourself. And as you keep it to yourself, it eats you up because you, you think to yourself, ah, what? When I open my mouth, it will not be well. But when you open your mouth, rather it will be well. If you ask me as a pastor, if I look at my congregation, I say, this one doesn't talk. This one doesn't talk about this. This one says nothing about this one. Says, I know the people that are troubled people. Not trouble for me, but trouble for themselves. So be released from your death and dumbness, which Satan has told you, ha, hey, hey. ha. One sister was, brother and sister were in a relationship and ah, they were having beasts. But one time they were in the room, there was a wild beast and somebody knocked on the door. When the sister saw that somebody was coming, they stopped the beast, opened the door. Hello, how is it? Oh, we are beloved. We are to chat in here. Flowing. Oh, yes. But it was a terrible relationship. And of course, when I kept silence, you know, because the day you were even to, if you had only even said that this is what is happening, there will be beasts. And when people come, there's so much. But you can imagine in marriage after 10 years, 
There will be beasts and they smile to the outside. Visitors will come, they, you, you display the best crockery, the best whatever. Oh, hello. Oh, how are you? Oh, it's so nice to see you. And then the husband will be looking at you and say, hey, your voice has changed. You are so pleasant. You are so hospitable. You are so nice. You are so well. That's not what he's experiencing. But he's experienced from relationship already. But only that he kept silence. Number three. Acknowledge your sin. Amen. I act, verse five says, I acknowledge my sin unto thee and my iniquities have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord and thou forgivest me the iniquity of my sin. Amen. So acknowledging, acknowledging your sin, you know, uh, will bring about, you know, so this is my fault. Now, you talk to people and you see that they don't see their sin. What I'm saying sounds simple, but people don't see their sin. That's my experience with counseling people. That's my experience with people leading people. Try, they don't see it and they don't agree. And even though they don't say, you can see it on their faces. You are a man, and you are you have abu- you are you are you are having a sexual relationship. And when you are asked about it, you are rather giving percentages. That it says, uh, oh, it is 50 50 percent. It is 60 40 percent. Her fault, my fault, my fault, his fault. Acknowledge your sin. And not discover somebody's sin. Because you should even take 100%. That is if you are really acknowledging your sin. Because then whose fault is it? It is your fault. That is why poverty is believed by research to be the fault of the individual. But the individual will always say it is the country. It is the government. It is this. It is the Rarely does the individual... Acknowledge, if you read chapter 4 of He That Had, it says that research shows that poverty is believed to be the fault of the person and not of where the person is. Yes, it's the fault of the person. It's the individual's fault. So as you are acknowledging, say, say, ah, it's not my fault, it's her fault, it's his fault. You have to acknowledge your acknowledge that, look, I am at fault. I don't know about the person and I don't care. Me, to, as far as I'm concerned, uh, 100% it is my fault. And you should see it and believe it. That it is you. But as long as you know it's not me. It's at least 28% for this person and 4%, uh, 4% the circumstance, 18% uh, the person who introduced that person to me and 44% my father's failure to discipline me and 6% my pastor's failure to preach about those topics. You've shared percentages for all of us. That is how come people are Always, when they say, I got a problem, I got a problem. Yeah, you see, because in my, in my, when I was growing up, in my background, and this happened, and that happened, and we don't want to take responsibility for yourself. That, look, it is, it's a problem that I have. Stop saying, oh, this uncle came to my house, did this to me, this maid did this to, uh, to me, this one 14 years ago, this happened, this happened, and on, over and over and over and over. What about you? The man said, I never got healed until I said that. Look, I am the, I am the one. Wow. Yeah. I don't know whether the person... So, you are shut! For, uh, 6% for the church. 14% for the pastor. 18% for the circumstance. I was surprised. It was a surprise. I wasn't expecting on that day for this to happen. And, all. and then 23% because you were sad on that day. So the sorrow that led to that is 23%. Then 5% my maleness 
and then 18% her femaleness, and then 6% my previous broken heart led to another continuation. Ah, that's too much. Own up. Rather say, I am a man and I am full of lust. That's all. I have fallen. Never mention the other person. I don't have anything. Rather say I'm a liar. Rather take the whole thing. And that is, I have a problem. How can you explain and say that it's the, partly the church's fault and partly the pastor's preaching. He has not mentioned that topic in the preaching since you came to the church. And you don't have a Bible to read? Hmm. I acknowledge my sin. I acknowledge my sin. And my iniquity have I not hid. It didn't say I acknowledge other people's sins and I shared the, I shared the sins fairly and equally. I say, ah, two people have done something, one is blamed. It's, I've, been, I've been mistreated. I've been left out. I've been treated that way. You are making a mistake. Just take your own mistake and say, Lord, Charlie, I am wicked. I have sinned. I don't know. David could have said, look, why should Bathsheba bath outside? Why should you bath outside? So close to the palace. When you see where I walk for my prayer time, and you are bathing over there. Why? Huh? And then when she came, she didn't say anything. She didn't say that she was in her fertile period. If she had said she was in her fertile period, at least I could have waited. It would have uh, 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 discouraged me. That one was also not there. Then number four, no prophet had come. The prophets came only after the problem came. They didn't come before. All these prophets in my life, no one showed a prophetic word that this thing was going to happen. Then number five, there was a war. I wasn't feeling well. It's just a second. I was surprised because I wasn't feeling well. I didn't go to war. Just one time. And then apart from that, Satan was against my anointing, being anointed as the king. And it's a satanic ploy. Charlie, you've shared the percentages, part, and then especially Bathsheba. Why, why is she so beautiful? Why? Why? If at least she was a little ugly, I would have even been controlled. Why? Is it that I've done something? She didn't resist. She didn't resist. Go and look at lions having sex. You see the female lying down, not resisting. This is natural behavior, not to resist. Go and watch leopards. You see the female will just be like that. Now a king has called you. And the king is saying, Hi, baby. Do you know I'm the king? I love you, baby. And then she will be smiling. She will be just... <laughs> and she had not even finished dressing before you called her. <laughs> Why? Why? Acknowledge your sin. Oh. Stop sharing percentages. And blaming people. And blaming anyone. Blaming circumstances. There's somebody that you are blamed that it was a surprise. I wasn't expecting that at that time. All enemy attacks are surprises. The ones that work, they are surprises. Do not be expecting it. Don't blame it on being it's a surprise. Most enemy attacks that work, they are surprises. Like, you're, going, you're not expecting that. It's because it's a surprise that it works. So, ah, it's a surprise. I was, in my normal life, such a thing will not happen. Acknowledge my part. You know, the whole thing is for me. Look, when we take Adam and Eve, they were sharing themselves percentages. Adam, the woman thou givest me, the woman was saying the serpent. It's like, when God came, he asked the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And she, the, that question means that I mean, she was blamed for everything. Then when God came to Adam, what he did to Adam is like, 
he blamed Adam. Because he called Adam, where are you? So he blamed Adam for everything. And when he came to the devil, he blamed the devil for everything. You, you will see, even the woman is going to step on your head and you are going to go. So all three, everybody got 100. Wow. Yes. Everybody, because I don't know. But when you ask a woman, what is it that that was done? If you think about it, you can say that every cemetery in the world, you can blame a woman. You can blame Eve. Every mortuary, every tragedy. But you can also say that for Adam. Yes. Every tragedy in this world, you can blame it on Adam. And you can equally say that every curse, every tragedy, every evil in this world, you can blame it on the devil. Yeah. Is it not true? It's true. Yes. It wasn't that Adam, but Eve was never. That's why God said, what is this you have done? If you think of that question, what is this that thou has done? You can blame 100%. If you really look at things, you can blame yourself 100%. For, and that ends the story. Instead of trying to take percentages, God himself knows how you are pushing percentages. Oh, yes. I acknowledge my sin. James 5, 16, number four. Confess your fault one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. We are talking about wound healing. Things don't go away till and are not healed many times till we confess our faults one to another. That's what we talk about, talking. Keeping things in your head. Something is growing in you. Yes, and you see that the healing cannot come because the confession has not come. Somebody is speaking to you and you, you add sin to sin. Isaiah 30 verse 1 or 31 verse 1. He said you add sin to sin. You add another sin to the sin by lying upon the original problem. Look at it. Isaiah 30 verse 1. Underline it, that they may add sin to sin. So the confession now leads to an additional sin being added to the original sin. Eh? And the problem has become actually worse from that meeting where you had to confess your sins or confess your faults one to another. Instead of being healed, it has developed a side effect or something else is coming to add to it. And this is why things don't get healed. It's getting worse. Look at that. It says that they may add sin to sin. But, you know, you were asking me, so how can the healing come? That's what the Bible says. Confess your faults one to another. The more something has been talked about and confessed and prayed for, which is the next point, prayer. I start becoming prayerful. You know, start praying. I tell you, the flow prayer meeting on Tuesday, as you pray, you, as you pray, you start becoming more healed. As you confess your fault one to another, and you pray. So the next verse in Psalm 32 also says, after it says, I acknowledge my sins, right? Then the next one says, for everyone that is godly shall pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. So you acknowledge your sin and you pray. And James chapter 5 and verse 16 also says the same thing. Confess your things one to another and pray. So whatever crisis you are going, as you keep it to yourself, and whatever difficult, as you keep it to yourself, as you don't even acknowledge your, your own whatever, you don't get healed. So these things will bring great healing into your life. And I want to tell you something. You know that word healing, it means healing is possible. The word restoration, it means to be restored. It is possible. Why would this word exist if such a thing did not exist? That you can have something bad and then you can be restored. Why, why is the, what, what, when, when will we use the word restoration in our lives? When will we use the word redemption? When will we use all, uh, what? Restitution. When will we use the word recover? At what stage, and is it in heaven? It's only here that you will use such words. So, it is time for you to believe. Listen, we started with John chapter 12, verse 24. That except a corn of wheat 
fall into the ground. That is, except that bad thing happens to the corn, it will just abide alone. But if it falls, if it, that bad thing happens, it brings much fruit. Amazing. Look at it. And therefore, since that bad thing must happen, as Jesus said, eh, then you must have the ability for wound healing. Wound healing. And in medical school, we learn wound healing. Go and check your surgery book. There's a whole chapter, wound healing. That is the title of the chapter, wound healing. The things that bring wound healing. One of them, vitamin C. Vitamin C is very important. Sunlight and so on and so forth. Sometimes the dressing and so on, they all prevent healing. Maybe I should go to uh, YouTube and, and, and speak over there. I acknowledge my sin. I acknowledge this. It's my fault. I am this. Rather than sharing things every day, analyzing, apportioning 60, 40%. It's 35, 65%. It's 88. Or you're a couple, you're not having a child. And uh, maybe they discover it's a sperm or this. You, you, if you are a good couple, you can't say, oh, it's your fault. Why are you barren? I mean, what do you have? You came to the marriage, you brought no, you're not even a sperm. I mean, how does it help? Because you are a couple. Or as somebody said, you are a couple. <laughs> as a couple. Oh, yes. God is bringing healing, you know. And I feel that, you know, restoration is possible. That, just, just like, see, that word church growth is possible. I want you to say, I want you to hear today, healing is possible. It's possible. It's possible. That word, restoration, it is possible. So key number one, have I given you the points? Key number one is what? Forgiveness from God. Number two, speaking. When I kept silence, oh, you are being released to speak. Amen. And then number three, acknowledging your sin, which is not sharing portions. Uh, 40%, 18%, 6%, 3%, uh, 9% chance. And then confessing your fault one to another. Who is writing these points like this? Confessing your fault one to another. Oh, yes, talking to somebody. Oh, I've talked to God already. I don't need to talk to anybody. I've spoken to God. I've sorted everything out with God. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry about uh, the verse. Sorry about James 5.16. Sorry for left. <laughs> and then start praying beautifully. Father, thank you so much for beautiful healing that is taking place. Wound healing, Lord. Wound healing. Hurts of our lives. Thank you for somebody to talk to. Somebody to say how I feel. Thank you, Lord, for times where you touch our lives. Our Lord, we've been through so much. But thank you that speaking, just talking, being able to speak, being able to pray is bringing great healing. I thank you for the release of Joseph's. Oh, yes. Men who can be healed. Men who were healed. Men who totally recovered. I thank you for many of us Totally recovered. Instead of apportioning blame. Marusum albarige umolombo adavas banandala. Thank you. No more apportioning blame. No more apportioning blame. But Lord, moving on, acknowledging and being healed completely. We give you thanks for wound healing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And right now, I'll tell you something. If you look in our nations in Africa, you see that we used to blame the white man for all our ills. But as the years go by, you begin to realize that the wound of slavery could not maybe be the reason why things are a certain way. That is why God is also showing us. Don't 
share things. Take your part. Because when you talk of even slavery, who was the bad person in the slavery? Was it not the brothers who sold their brother? Who were seen as the evil people? Was it the buyers of the slaves or the brothers who sold their brothers? It was the brothers who sold their Jacob's brothers. Joseph's brothers seen as the terrible human beings for selling their own brothers. So who are the bad people in that story? Stop sharing blame and start taking, it is myself. And when you acknowledge your sin, you start to escape from the wound because the continent is wounded by slavery, but you can escape by just taking, just forget about, if it's your fault, you, between you and God, better sort out because I'm also sorting myself out. And I know that much healing is coming. Become a Joseph, a person who was healed so nicely and so well that he was able to be a prime minister. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter 50 that he, he cared for his brothers. Oh, yes. Can you imagine caring for your murderers, uh, caring for your kidnappers, loving them and caring them, caring for them? That's healing. And that's what God is doing for you. He's making you completely. Stop, don't, don't, don't blame, uh, what's his name? That's with an R. Don't blame that person. Yes. Don't blame. You know, I don't want to mention the name of a, don't blame the person. Become a Joseph. Look at Joseph in Genesis 50. He says, don't fear. I will nourish you. Joseph is talking to his madras. I will nourish you. Nara Zuma Dazala. And he comforted them. You are comforting your madras and comforting your accusers and comforting those who destroyed your life and changed your life. So I will nourish you. This is restoration. This is recovery. This is healing. And what God is showing you above all is that it is possible. It is possible. It is, and it has to be possible. Because as for the cones of wheat, they are going to drop into the ground all the time. And there's going to be these horrible experiences all the time. But the recovery is going to be powerful. And you will be feared because you recovered and overcame and you were healed in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. As I stretch out my hand, I thank you for recovery that is complete. Healing that is wonderful. Healing in the order of Joseph. It's healing. Thank you that Lord, mighty restorations and deliverances are taking place and restitutions and recoveries are it's been experience. Whatever wounds in our soul, experiences that shatter and shake. Thank you for power from heaven above as you showed us the keys, Lord, to complete and genuine healing we receive. And thank you for this, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Beautiful. Well, it's time to take out your special uh, offering, wound healing part two. I, I just feel the power of God here. I know that we don't want to end and all that, but uh, I just feel that let's take out a special healing offering. I don't know, 100% healing. So you want to sow a special seed today. I'm mentioning the number 100, $100, 100. And why am I saying for total healing, total healing, not a percentage could it be that when we are pushing blame, 18% for this, 14% for this, 6% for that, we also get just a percentage of healing? Wow. Yes. Instead of acknowledging ourselves. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit. I don't know what time of the day you are watching today or maybe tomorrow, but God wants to bless you. I want you to sow your special seed of a hundred of anything and say as you hold that seed, I'm going to make you take the seed. Lord, I believe you for 100% recovery. 100% recovery. Someone, somebody saw me say, have you been hurt before? Have I been hurt before? Ha! I can only answer with thanks. Have you had any bad experience before? I can answer you with I don't even know what to say in English. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Has everything been wonderful and beautiful for you? Huh. Matoka Boza Laba Shubali Baba. 
Oh, yes. But by his wounds, we are healed. By his mercies, we are healed. And you see, this wound will form the basis of your ministry as the years go by. It will form the basis of your strength. The basis of your strength. The basis of your strength. That's why it says, by his wounds, we are healed. The wound is the basis for the healing ministry. Yes. Father, take out your 100% for 100% healing. Oh, Father, thank you for everyone who is giving. I don't know where you are in the world, but don't fail to give. Just come online and make sure you give a special. Today is wound healing part two. Yes, wound healing part two. And God is healing you of every wound. Father, thank you for a total recovery and improvement. Thank you for that word healing, that word restoration, that word recovery, that word restitution, that word uh, mercy. Uh, all these beautiful words, Lord, they are real things. And we receive your power. And we thank you, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And everyone said, Amen. God bless you. And uh, don't forget, uh, all of us, we are expecting God's power on Tuesday morning will be continuing. We're going to have a little Thanksgiving praises, but um, I just feel the power of God. I don't feel like even talking. I'm sure you're also feeling the same way if you're part of this service. And I feel healing with your communion. Jesus, thank you for amazing healing, uh, this communion. We are grateful for your healing. Once again, heal us. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Keep talking. That's what the Lord says. Keep talking about it as you talk. It goes out of your spirit and you are healed. In the when I kept silence, ah, my bones wax old. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. And now, the blood. May you be forgiven and healed by the blood of Jesus. Do you have any churches to be dedicated? Before we take the final blessing, I want to say something in the realm of the spirit. When you build a church, I'm writing a book on how to revenge on Satan. One of the ways is to build a church. Because he said, the gates of hell. One of the ways to, is to build a church. It's a way to revenge and avenge on Satan. Because it breaks his gate. It breaks his wall. Ha. And so, all these churches that are being built. Jesus, Savior of the world. Ping, built by Ruth Owusu. First Love Church, Antioch, USA. Father, I pray for Ruth. Eh? Lord, bless her. Heal her. And remember, in Jesus' name, amen. That's Ruth by the uh, Ruth Church by the Rosa. I, I can even change the name of the church of Ping to Ruth's Church. Wow. Oh, yes, because she built it. I don't know her, but I'm, I know that God knows her. She built, look at her church that she built. And that's been dedicated. Such a beautiful church. And another church, Nabuk Ubele. Nabuk Ubele. Jesus, Savior of the world. First Love Church, University of Washington, USA. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. I love it. Father, bless the First Love Church of University of Washington who have built this church at Nabugubele. Nabugubele. And look at this beautiful church dedicated by Archbishop Patrick Bruce, formerly a, ph a pharmacist, but now an Archbishop. And he's dedicating these churches. And there's the last one, Tafiasi. Tafiasi. Ha! Financed by Solomon Apia Mensa, USA, in loving memory of Dad Jones Mensa and Mum. Teresa T. Boateng. Father, bless Solomon because he has honored his father and his mother 
and place their names on a church building forever. I thank you for your blessing multiplication on this person, on these people. In Jesus' name. Tafiasi, Upper West Region, beautiful road. And we can see the church being dedicated by the Archbishop in the Upper West Region. It's a very harsh environment, but churches are being built more and more. Oh, yes. And the last one, at least four today, Jesus is the answer church. King Clean in Quanta. King Clean in Quanta. Wow. Financed by First Love Church, North America. Oh, Father, anybody who belongs to this church, let them experience good things. I bless them all in Jesus' name. And that's the church by the road I told you. Uh, King Clean. King Clean has his own church. And that's First Love Church, USA. Being dedicated by Archbishop Ampofo, I believe. All right? What a blessing. These are blessings. 370 so far. I think they're actually now over four, are they over 400 now? More than 400 people. I told you, so people are rushing to join before we get to the 500 because now over 400 people have uh, donated to build their own personal church and we are left with the last 100. So you can be in the last 100 if you are not in the first 400. And that's, this project will be over. And we'll all be happy to announce and say, look at it. We have built 500 churches and dedicated every single one of them to the glory of God. Now, may the Lord bless you and give you the capacity to avenge on any hurt that Satan has inflicted on you at any time in your life. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Yes, Be blessed of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A wonderful thing has happened Jesus. in your Deadly wounds are healed. Your Amen. deadly wounds are healed. Amen. Your deadly wounds are healed. Amen. Yes. Place your hand on your heart. Be, be blessed and be healed. Be comforted. For, for the Lord says, many like you have been healed. Many in your situation have been healed. Therefore, today, join the many who have been healed by the Lord and recover. Recover, recover, and live again. And live again. What the enemy thought will drown you. Nashindo Samandala. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You didn't drown. You didn't die. Yes, persecuted. Yes, harassed. Yes, troubled. But survived. But survived and made it. And came out victorious. May that be your portion. May his blessing rest upon you. And cover you. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hands also on your belly. Whatever has hurt your soul. Your inner man. Whatever has placed a spirit of discouragement and unhappiness and deep disillusionment. The Lord extract from your soul that seed of wickedness to depress and suppress you. Receive healing from Jesus. Supernatural power. Supernatural healing. And recovery in the name of Jesus. The Lord restore you, remember you, and help you in the name of Jesus. Be healed of every sickness, every pain, every
every cancer, every diagnosis, every frightening visit to the hospital and the doctor. By this prayer, your life is extended. Your life is extended. And your healing has arrived. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord remember you. And the Lord give you peace. And make his face shine upon you. In Jesus name. Amen. Praise. pastures you make me lie down you make me lie down in green pastures you make me walk for nothing you fill my hunger with honey from your sweet sweet words you let me worship before you, Joe, oh, I will love and adore you. You are my shepherd. You are my Jesus. You are my Lord. Let's all sing. You make me lie down. You make me in green pastures. You make me want for nothing. You feel my hunger with honey. From your sweet, sweet word, you let me worship. See for you, so I will love and adore you. You are my shepherd. You are my Jesus. You are my Lord. For a moment, let's lift our hands and worship the Lord. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Make us lie down in green pastures. You lead us, Lord. Oh, we are so grateful, Lord. We are so grateful, Lord. You are a shepherd, Lord. You are a Jesus, Lord. You are a master, Lord. Yes. Oh, we are so grateful, Lord. Oh, yes. Lord. Make me like in green pastures. You make me want for nothing. You fill my hunger with honey from your sweet, sweet word. You let me worship before you, so I will love and adore you. You are my shepherd. You are my Jesus. Oh, you are my Lord. Say, you are my shepherd. You are my shepherd. You are my Jesus. You are my Lord. Say, you are my shepherd. Oh, Lord, you are my shepherd. 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 My Jesus, my Lord, my healer, my Jesus, my Lord, my shepherd. He's already provided. Let's all sing, He's already provided. The Lord has provided for us. Thank you, Lord, for provision. Thank you, Lord, for provision. Thank you, Lord. We are so grateful for provision, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for provision. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. We are so grateful, Lord. So grateful, Lord. For what you've done for us, for what you're going to do for us. We lift our hands and say, thank you, Lord. We are so grateful, Lord, for provision. Thank you for providing for us, Lord. Provided 
for us, Lord. He's already provided. He's already provided. He's already provided. Everything you need. Everything you need. He's already provided. Sing every promise you can claim. Every promise you can play. If you can just ask it in his name. Just ask it in his name. Everything you need. Everything you need. He's already provided. He's already provided. Now lift up your hands and let's sing it. He's already provided. And he's already Already. Already. Provided. Already, already, already. He's already. Oh, my son, oh, my cobare, my son. Everything. He's already provided. He's already provided. Sing so every promise you can claim. Every promise you can claim. Just ask it in his name. Just ask it in his name. Everything you need. He's already provided. He's already provided. Let's all sing. He's already. Lifting every holy hand. He's, He's provided. He's provided. In the realm of the spirit. He's provided. He's He's a good shepherd. Amen. Amen. You guide and carry me. Protect and never leave. Protect and never leave. Over my
Trust and 